Well, we're back out in the bush finally. It's been a long two months since we've made a video since the government decided to shut down camping and basically you can't go outside. But we're back. <laughs> Feels good to be outside again. Yeah. We're going um to a old fire lookout that was built in 1978. And it's a two-story, a two-story, um... It's a two-story fire lookout. Two-story <laughs> fire lookout. So it's different than all the other ones we've ever been to, so it'll be cool. We've actually tried to find this trailhead a couple times and have been unsuccessful every single time. Okay, yeah, and the trail is right behind us. And we literally, there's a little road, road right mm -hmm. here. We went down this last year thinking to ourselves, you know, it's got to be close to here. Yeah, it was about 50 feet behind us, so. All right, well, we got it now. That was so. embarrassing. <laughs> that was embarrassing. It's actually, there's a sign too. I didn't think that there was a sign for some reason. Yeah. Uh, it will, I mean, the sign is in kind of a silly place. I'll show you. It's like on the ground. It's kind of hidden really by the it. trees when you drive past as well. We are in grizzly country today. I mean, technically, we're actually always in grizzly country, but this is very much so grizzly country. We don't bring a gun on every single thing that we do, no. but sometimes it's just better to be safe than sorry. The chances of someone being out here are zero. Probably zero. If we come across someone, I will my pants. I guess I'll have to bleep that. <laughs> but, um, we're 101 kilometers on a forest service road. Dude, it's like, do not disturb while driving. I'm not driving. Leave me alone. Oh yeah, and this is a last resort. So, if you're wondering. <laughs> Unless it's like, come down to it. Where you need to use it. There's a sign behind you there. There's a little yellow sign. Damn, that's probably why we missed it. Yeah, they got bad once the th wind died down once we entered the forest. The beginning of this trail never used to be a clear cut. But now it is. Oh, I got that in right up my ear. Come here. Come here, Aspie. Come here. 
<laughs> Hi, honey. We made it. And the bugs are so bad. When the wind dies down and we enter the forest, we could not film. Because we literally just had to run. It was... It's so bad. It's better here. But here we are. It's actually not bad inside. Try to close this so that the don't come coming. Yeah. So this, it, I think I already said this, but it was built in 78 to look for fires because I don't think they used helicopters back then. Oh, there's a mosquito in here. Oh, that's so cute. Isn't that cool? 2000, 2017, when was the last time someone came here? May 16th, really? That was actually recent. So that's actually kind of funny because the last person before that was September 22nd, 2019. So this is the first, per first person this year. Was there only one visitor in 2019? Weird. Oh no, here. It's very poorly written, but there was only October 6th, that must be 2018. One, two, three. There's only four, five people in all of 2019. But six, seven, eight, oh, eight. Second person this year. Oh, that's sick. Wow. One sec, it'll come up.
may notice the forest fire. There was a giant forest fire here in 2018, destroyed like 90,000 hectares. And yet, it, it was called the Nadina wildfire. But yeah, you can see ravaged some there, some there, all the way to the uh, Nadina mountain. Behind us, there's more forest fire to the side. It's pretty crazy. But then it's weird because some of it's not burnt. Yeah, I guess this, you point this somewhere. What's that? Here. Hmm. Oh, what is that? Initial fire report. This was downstairs. Geographic location. Interesting. So they would fill this out after spotting a fire from up here. And then I guess we have like different different areas. Delta, Charlie, Echo. And I'm not exactly sure how this works. Maybe you point that. Crosshairs and then I'm not really sure how this works, honestly. Maybe someone knows. Obviously this is how they found the location of the fire. And oh, oh no. It's shut. Oh, you can't see. But the vent is shut. How do I keep you open again? <laughs> Cebolas. People ski and um, like backcountry ski all year long and snowmobile. I'm hoping we can go to Ryan Craig today and see it because that is such a cool mountain. See the radio log. The radio log? Yeah, it's from 97. Radio log. So I wonder if they used it all the way until 97. But look, it says Dean Lookout here. Yeah, they must have. You can see all their times and stuff. Down. They, don't have, they don't have time here. Let me see. Then they have a frequency list. And but then there's some other cool things in here, too. Just a handbook for the lookout observers, and it tells you all about like what their job was, what mm -hmm. you would need to do, like propane system, toilet and garbage, grounds building, a bunch of different stuff, like all their directions. It's pretty cool. Yeah, like, imagine being stationed out here back then. This is pretty cool. It would be. And then there's the orienting of the firefinder. It mm -hmm. tells you how to do it. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, that was very interesting. It has like a bunch of information in here of what was just everything. And it talks about how rotors can kill. Yeah. Stay, keep away from the helicopter. <laughs> talks about like, yeah, that stuff. That's really hard to read. Just tell you about it. Okay, that is... I mean, it's even hard to read in person, so... It's even harder to try and get it on camera. And they have... Oh yeah, and it says, um... The... When they need to sign out and check in... And Stuff. Tells you all about like some different, just what things mean. And then there's this map. Sweet. Just think that's where we are. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. And then it tells you about the phonetic alphabet. <laughs> Pretty cool. Lots of information in here. Yeah. And this is the most like information I found that I uh. 
at any of the lookouts. Yeah. Really anywhere, honestly, usually. It would have been even a better view back in 98, because obviously the trees have grown up in the last 20, 22 years. So, 2,000, crazy. Looks a little rough on the outside, eh? Just a bit. Yeah, I think that's a little lightning rod oh, right there, and then I think it just goes into the ground. I think that's what that's for. It's probably to hold the thing down, too, in wind, maybe? I don't really know. But there was a fridge here once, because we read, the, or we found the fridge manual in one of those drawers. I wonder, like, uh, wonder if you can actually run that heater. I bet you could if you brought some propane or whatever. Definitely seen better days. Yeah. Here's the toilet. Bunch of old scrap metal. Yeah, man, that's an outhouse. That's just actually kind of terrifying. I ain't going in there. Like, it looks so bad from the outside. <laughs> it actually, it looks pretty bad. It yeah. looks so bad, but it's nice inside. Ready to go back home? Back down? Come on. Aspen loves the snow. She gets so excited whenever we see any. What do you think, Aspen? This trail used to be a road so that you could drive up to the fire lookout, but now it's pretty overgrown and I don't think anyone's driving it. Well, we're back to the truck. So we might head down, check out that cool mountain I mentioned earlier. If we can get there, there might still be snow on the road. If can't get there then I guess this is the end and thank you for watching and I guess we'll just have some like driving shots on the way back and pretty things yeah have a great day <laughs>